Welcome to Saturday Sit Down, and I've got a special guest here, and we've rode a little bit th today on this uh, kind of uh, Indian summer day. It's Dell Glaze, but I'm going to let Dell introduce himself. So, Dell, tell us a little bit more about yourself, who you are, what you're about, and why. Well, my name is uh, Dell Glaze. I'm with Bond Servants Motorcycle Ministry. We're supported currently by Town Church in Middletown, Ohio. We, uh, we support other ministries. Our success is based on um, other ministries succeeding. We got tired of seeing ministries fail uh, because people weren't volunteering. Okay. So it was put on our hearts to start a ministry that would be those people. So anybody who had a ministry, they had the logistics figured out, they had a mission on their heart, but they just couldn't get the people together to make it happen with where those people awesome awesome you know there's uh there's a lot of ministries though there's a lot of motorcycle ministries motorcycle clubs riding clubs and uh you know you talked a little about bond servants but of all the different things that you could do why did you choose bond service so what is your why behind the why you mean the name in the bond servants or why the bond servants? We started the bond servants, but the name is because of uh, 1 Corinthians 9.19. And our belief in Jesus Christ, our faith in Jesus Christ says that we've been set free. But the idea behind a bond servant was that this was a person who was given their freedom by, by their owner. And they put a ring in their ear to indicate to that person that, yes, while I have been given my freedom, I submit it back over to the person that owned me because I choose to be there serving them. And that's the idea behind a bond servant with Christ is that Christ set us free from the sin in our lives. Uh, and at the same time, because we love him so much for what he has done for us, uh, we have made ourselves uh, servants to the kingdom, to Christ and to others. Uh, First Corinthians 9, 19 is, though I have been set free, I have made myself a servant that I may win more of them. So the idea is that through service and loving people, uh, that they may come to know the love, love of Jesus Christ and start their own personal relationship with Christ, which of course is the most important thing to us. The gospel is, is paramount. Amen, amen. Well, speaking of being a servant, the gospel and having this Christian biker motorcycle ministry, how did you first come across having a relationship, a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? My personal relationship started with Jesus Christ with, there was no, no one around. There, was, there wasn't a preacher around. There wasn't Christian radio on my radio. There wasn't even a Bible in my truck that Christ saved me in. Um, looking back at it now, it's one of those you never can see the forest through the trees. But after you have been down that path, you can see the path of destruction that you left in your wake. And um, Christ had spent quite a quite a bit of time wooing me, allowing me to go through a lot of things. It seemed like simple things to, to a person, but there were so many things that went wrong. And what it was is he was putting me in a place where he could get my pride out of his way, where I could hear him. And yeah. uh, once he had me to a place where I could hear him, then he showed up and uh, introduced himself to me and then saved me. And after that, it's just been one of those deals where um, I just committed my life to it. Well, you know, I quote a famous quote here on uh, Saturday Sit Down. It's by Johnny Cash. And he says, living for, a, for God or being a Christian isn't for sissies. It takes more of a man to live for God than it is for the devil. With that being said, maybe share with our viewers some of your more arduous times, challenging times, the tough times in your walk or in your ministry. They're always tough, okay? So none of it's ever easy. Uh, all of it's work. It's like any other relationship, whether that be a relationship with a with another person, a friend, you, you and myself, my wife, you know, they all take work. If you're gonna, if you're gonna put forth that, a relationship with Christ takes work. Um, a, a relationship with you takes work. There has to be a, a thing where, hey, I, I care enough about this person to reach out to him, talk to him. So it's always work. It's, it's always, it's always tough. But What's really tough is, is loving people. Being able to sit down uh, at the table with your Judas. So in other words, even the person, even the person that's hard to love, the person you're 
that you just you don't like anything that they have going on in their life but we can't look at what they're doing or the circumstances that they're in we have to look at them how christ sees them and christ sees them as fearfully and wonderfully made and they they're even though they may not have submitted their life to them yet he still died on the cross for them so that's what he thinks of them and that that's what we have to keep our focus on when, when we're doing it but none of it's easy and I, i've i've failed more times than i've succeeded for sure through all of that you know continue to ask for forgiveness and uh again just deciding to pick up that cross and follow him again and again and again and over and over and over because i if i if it if it hits the ground it's because i dropped it he's always faithful um you know, if I pick it up again, no, it's because I picked it up again out of just love for him. So, uh, and the, the best part is, is he's ready to accept me back at, at any moment for anything that I've done, as long as I recognize what it is, repent and move forward. So, he, he's, he's a gracious, forgiving God. Amen. You know, we're sitting out here on the patio, as you can kind of tell, there's some sound. So hopefully you're able to hear us okay. We're at the submarine house here in Beaver Creek. Uh, took a lunch break after our ride this afternoon. But there's another question on this. There's another side of this coin, Dale. So we talked about more of the arduous, the challenging times, but there's victorious times, there's joyful times. Maybe share some examples or a brief testimony about some victories. Well, the, the victories are easy. So those most of the time, uh, that's where we that's where we spend a lot of our prayer life is praying that we don't miss the victories those are the things so often that we miss mm -hmm. um, when things are going well when things are happening the way we expect them to or the way we prayed for it or we wanted this mission or we wanted to go help these people or we wanted to be a part of that or we needed the funds to, to help with this or we wanted to support this over here and then all those things those paths all work out the way we want to <laughs> That is a blessing, but so often we miss it. We mm -hmm. miss the good things. We we so often get focused on the struggle that we that we miss the part that all when everything went right. So nah. we pray all the time for the Lord to not only use us, Lord, let us be a part of whatever it is you have going on today. <laughs> I like that. But I also pray, not just let me be a part of it, but please open my eyes to it when it happens so I don't miss a miracle. Mm. I want to see it too. Let me witness it. <laughs> let me be a part of it. And then let me be gracious to you. Let me thank you for that, mm. that you showed up when we asked. Don't, don't let me go another minute with, oh, wow, that went well today, and not going, thank you, Jesus, mm. for letting that go well today, you know, giving, giving glory to Christ for everything that, that does go well. But those are the easy ones to walk <laughs> away from because – who thinks yeah. about a job well done and they move on going, Hey man, we had a job well done. Nobody does that. That's not, that's not what we do. You know, mm -hmm. you don't, you don't go brag about the ones well done. You go, you go tell people, Hey, we failed here. How do we fix that? How do we overcome that? How do we, those are the things we get focused on and we often miss the blessing. Uh, I like that perspective. <laughs> Amen. So with that being said, that kind of leads to my next question. If there's three things you want my viewers to know about you, to remember you or a legacy you want to leave, what are those top three things? Number one's easy. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, they know I was about Jesus. I was about my father's business, that I was about the gospel. I would I would be very, very disappointed to, to, to find out there was somebody out there didn't know where I stood that knew me. Not a stranger, but people that know me, if they didn't know where I stood on the gospel in Jesus Christ, that, that would be a very big disappointment to me. Probably the number one disappointment. After that, I would like to be known uh, with the bond servants ministry that we were reliable, that they could count on us, that we were that type of ministry, that that we would be there when when people really need us, and that we love, that, that we because that's part of our you know part of our motto is love all serve all. It's in the love that you serve. We never want it to be about just going out and serving. Anybody can go do that. You can you can go you can go serve somebody. And never love them in doing it. We want the love to be first, and because we love them, then then the service will happen. Who, who doesn't want to serve the people they love? Right. Great point. So the first one is obviously Jesus. Be about the kingdom business. Second one is reliable. What is the third? Faithfulness. Being Thank faithful. You. We want to be known for being faithful to the gospel, to the kingdom. Being being to live out that life that people see us and know that we believe what we believe because of the life that we live mm. not because of 
they see it, the work that we're doing or anything because you know the Bible says faith by work faith without works is not faith at all so I don't we just want to we want them to know that we believe what we believe because they see our lives living that way that it's not an act that we live mm -hmm. that way behind closed doors our children they can look at our children and know that we live that way because they see the, those kind of um, actions in our children's lives those kind of that when we're out and about that we don't have to put on a false facade with other people with whatever it is that they may be doing uh, that we're not judgmental that we just we, we meet people where they're at mm -hmm. and what they are and, and love them for who they are and what they do and that hopefully through all of that we might get an opportunity to talk to them about the gospel amen amen so with bond servants motorcycle ministry how can our viewers support you help you in your mission well first would be we don't recruit we we want to get people that are, have a calling on their lives so the biggest thing would be um, if somebody out there decided hey I want to be a bond servant also um, then to reach out to us and we could take you through that process you can see what we're about we have open meetings anybody's welcome to come to a meeting we don't have closed meetings uh, we live wide open anybody can come in and see what it is that we talk about how we do things where it is that we do things we very transparent and uh, but that's the biggest support thing would be coming and being a bond servant coming mm -hmm. in and working for others the world needs more laborers they need everybody needs help I mean everybody out there where they want to admit it now everybody needs help so uh, we support each other uh, through the ministry and through a discipleship program and then we support other ministries by being there for them um, and it's not just we love to ride motorcycles I oh mean, yeah that's one of our things we love to ride motorcycles right. so we love to run with the motorcycle crowd i love the biker community that's my people mm -hmm. i mean that's where you know I've met some of the best people on the planet riding motorcycles. <laughs> yeah. They are a fantastic group of people, yeah. and uh, and they love being outside, and I love being outside. And there, there's so many things that we share uh, together. There's more things that we share than divide us, for sure. Especially in the motorcycle community, man, I love. They got big hearts, and they 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 love to do um, toy drives and stuff. Mm. They, the, I guess the big difference would be is if they do a toy drive, it's because. They want to help other people who may he may not have the means at Christmas time for a toy drive or whatever. I, we do a toy drive. We're going to do it in the name of Christ. That's it. But it's still the same. They're still helping people. They're people helping people. Yeah. And uh, I love that. I love being a part of it. Um, I I love that if you own a motorcycle, you're accepted. It's your ticket in. Having a motorcycle, even if it's not exactly the motorcycle that the MCs would choose for you, um, having a bike. They wave at you. They'll talk to you. They'll they want to talk about your bike. They want to. They'll let you talk to them about their bike. And it, it's it really is a, a funny dynamic that uh, is just really cool to be a part of. Um, I have an email. It's uh, dglaze at town dot church. That's uh, d g l a i z e at town dot church. Of course, any one of us are willing to share information about the bond servants if somebody wanted to become a bond servant or or come come to a meeting and, and see what we're about to figure out if they if that's something they wanted to do uh, but we are a service organization understand that i mean that's what we do we're not a riding club um we're not a motorcycle club uh we will go if a motorcycle club called on us we would go serve them if a riding club called on us we would go serve them uh we'll go support them in other ways if they have rides and their fundraisers and things that they're doing we go support them in those because we like to ride motorcycles too mm -hmm. but that's not our primary function we happen to be guys that like to get on motorcycles and go find ice cream somewhere but when we're not doing that we're somewhere helping somebody that needs to accomplish something for somebody else amen amen so in uh in closing first of all i want to thank you for your time thanks for inviting me out on this day because i wasn't going to ride necessarily but uh it's sunny it's at least 50 and above this guy will ride at zero degrees but uh i appreciate appreciate your time and the fellowship but in closing what is a final statement you would like to say in closing our time today jesus is a reason for everything that we do and um, we are about the gospel first so in anything that we do the gospel we want an opportunity to share we want to build relationships with people so we have an opportunity to share with them about jesus because 
Jesus paid it all and he loves us all and he has something in the kingdom for everyone everyone that'll listen so we want to make sure everybody gets an opportunity to hear the gospel amen amen well you know my normal saying is enjoy these days make it a great day and you have that choice of making it a great day but while you're at it may you launch each day with purpose navigate with principles and explore with passion this is president del glaze and brother martin bro martin saying peace out shalom